like any man that has stepped in some dog poop and then tries to come into your home, let me apologize beforehand. First off, thank you for viewing this video and letting me into your home and into your mind. Secondly, this will be my quote-unquote disclaimer that I am not affiliated with anyone in this story or any of these stories. Um, uh, my intention is not to insult anyone. I see things from a specific, uh, I guess we'd say, angle. And I'm just telling you what I see. And of course, you know, just like anybody else, I have my own opinions. And I'm going to add those too. Okay, so when you type in Minneapolis, of course, you're always notified of top stories. And the top story is it's real ugly. Protesters clash with the police after the death of George Floyd. So, George Floyd, and if you have not climbed out of your cave until right now, the whole world knows that a man was, man died in the streets of Minneapolis. Here is a video, it shows that the Minneapolis police officers with knee on George Floyd's neck, who later died. He died on the spot. You can see where. He... Ah, listen. Anybody that watches this video can see there's a stream of fluid that comes from his body and comes into the camera to be seen. Anybody who watches this video can say he can't. You can hear the man say he can't breathe. That he's starting to feel nauseous and that his spine and so I think he says his back and something else. All right, so let's just go uh, down the list. We'll get to some of those things. Can't claim we'll get to everything. And what happened to Mr. Floyd has to do with the Christian black codes. Again, uh, when we read the Bible. And we go to Jeremiah 2 and 26 and 27. Whether people believe it or not, as a thief is disgraced when he is caught, so are the people of Israel disgraced. Just like those men that lost their jobs for choking that man out till he could not breathe anymore. Just like they are disgraced right now. The people of Israel created a God and worshipped it. And when they were found out, they were disgraced. And this is why Israel is not on top. Israel is an aboriginal people. Now, if you look at 27... The very next verse they are known to the most high to tell a what stock what is a stock that's something that grows up from the ground like a corn stock today we call it stalk stalk is a root no different than what the penis is as the penis grows from the body it is rooted in from the penis you get stock or stalk when it produces its seed and seed grows you get children today they're called stock that's what our stock market is these men and women some of our ancestors they said to a stock use my daddy they said to a stone, you have brought me forth. And this is why I bring up 
penis. This is how children are begotten from their fathers. The Israelites told sticks and stones that they were biologically created from them. Now, sticks and stones are idols. I don't know what's going on with Google today. It doesn't want to work. So, how many people can think off the top of their head what's the most what's what's the most popular idol you are subjected to in stick or in stone now we are having some issues i'm sure the issues are coming because of the topics that are up um again they are from outside sources now i want to show you something here's some sticks and stones all right here you have hands with an elephant carved right the elephant just what it get whatever the thing is called right here you have stones right When we think of metals, do they fall under stone? We know how many, right? Different types of jewelry we see with sticks and stones. Isn't it funny how you say sticks and stones and idolatry? This is what comes up all the time, right? It's almost funny. You see right here how this person's got a bunch of shit on their neck? Now, what's funny is all sorts of people have a bunch of stuff hanging from their neck. It seems like when I type in sticks and stones, right, they only want to show Hindu stuff. Isn't that funny? And it's showing they do. I mean, they didn't let us down. Everything is either made of stone or made of wood. Right? You see those? Right, carved around the top of that. Okay, so let's go a little bit further. Let's say wood and stone. See, because this is what we're used to seeing in the Bible wood and stone, right? You will serve what? Man made gods, wood and stone. And when we look at the images of wood and stone, watch this again. Now, instead of just Hinduism, now you get a little bit of Egyptism, right? The ologists are going to say, oh, well, if you say wooden stone, not sticks, wooden stone, you, you'll, get your, you'll get yourself a whole lot of different stuff. Now, they got this image of Egypt up, but yet yeah, they keep showing you all this Hindi, Hindi stuff, right? But still... That's only a few religions, and this world is full of religions. Where are the rest of the religions? Because all we ever see about history is stone carvings. So, isn't it funny how all the historical stone carvings we see in all the other subjects are not up right now? <laughs> so, let's go a little bit further. We're just going to have to just call out what ain't there right where are the christian idols when we type in wooden stone and sticks and stone you see how that stuff doesn't come up now see when you say christian the idols and the christian god look at what comes up the image of christianity is not the idea we love Jesus and Jesus rose. It's the death. The culture of death. Right? Look, it's a Christian vandalism, right? 
if you type in Isis, this guy, it's a stone relief of a guy holding an axe. It's not this thing. It's this guy. The guy that's chopping the wooden stone down to raise up a different type of wooden stone. If you say, where did crucifixion come from? Well, that's barbarian. That's why when you type in anything to do with the barbarians, always in the background, you see somebody being punished on a stick. And what do you call when you hang somebody up on a stick and cook them? I'm sorry. What do you call it when you put meat on a stick and cook it? You skew. So you have to ask, what exactly is these so-called things that the Israelites uh, got caught calling their father instead of the creator? See, they were caught worshiping a God made out of wood, made out of stone. And they were calling it dad. So, now you have, right, God said he'd protect you as long as you worshipped him. Now you have a usurp mentality. Nobody can take the power from the Most High. You have the mentality of usurpation, right? Oh, look, modern day, All right? Everybody makes memes about idols because they know it's everywhere. Even the golden idol sits in the center of the black city. Right? Legally. Legally black means you don't have any rights. And that goes to the Christian black codes. Where we get do we get to that? Um oh, so I lost it. Oh well, let's go. So in real world, you are living in an altered reality where the truth is not told. In the real world, white people were legally called black before 1900. Okay? Most of these writers are liars. And I can just show you the easiest way to show you is there's a author called Nancy Eisenberg. There it is. And she tells you in her book, White Trash. And she starts from, you know, when white people were brought over here as slaves up until insurrection and black people were turned into what we would call slaves and that's where we get all this propaganda because all this is is propaganda this is what you call a fresh start these people were enslaved for hundreds of years a half a century one two three four five Okay. How do you come into the next era with the weight on your head? You have no connection to your ancestors. White slaves of the British Empire, the British history, what history of the British slave ownership has been buried. Britain's 46,000 slave owners. Right? Britain, right? In the transatlantic slave trade. Remember, the slave trade ended because Britain abolished slavery, which affected other people's markets and turned their markets into black markets or illegal markets. Slavery in the British colonies. Now, if the white people were the British people's merchandise, who do you think is the slave in the British colony? If it says white man has to own property to be able to vote, then that means no white men can vote unless they own property. 
why doesn't it say that about black people? Because black people are writing the laws. Easiest way to say it is insurrection. And then we'll just say North Carolina. And it says 1898, North Carolina, a race riot where a white mob seized the government. If the white people were in control, they wouldn't be taking the government. This is as far as I'm going to go with this because anyone with any grain of intelligence knows right now the evidence has been presented. Me going further is for people that don't have common sense. I'm not doing that. White slaves of the British Empire. White gold. Slavery. Isn't that? Someone just bought this for me. Thank you, Kente. You see right here, they drew a little picture. They will not show you this picture blown up online. They will not put it to a way you can blow it up. You see what happens to a little Caucasian dude? You see all those guys with a face like mine? Skin tone just like mine? Guy on the cover with a beard just like mine? So... No, 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 no. You, you know, I don't, I don't care how Arab he looks, how white he looks. He's not. <laughs> it's just drawing it that way. And we go into this, right? Here's the only one you can blow the picture up, right? Anything else you click on, it comes up over here. But see, even though they don't, they don't say this is a sale. Oh, now it's gonna come. See him right there. That's. That's as big as it will come on the screen. That's pretty big for a picture, too, on, on here. All right? You see the four-petal flower, four corners. I'll take you from the four corners. I'll send you to the four corners. Do you see the other wicked people use five-pointed stars? They use six-pointed stars. Six-pointed star is not Israelites. That's two pyramid. That's one above, one below being merged. That's two different, what? That's the old continent and the new continents being merged. They're just doing uh, occult shit, occult stuff, right? Here you have the same thing. I don't care what you say. I don't care if they're, they're they, they can't be white and her being white too. The extraordinary story of white Thomas Pello and North Africa's one million European slaves. Now, you understand what's going on? The white African is being brought to Europe to become the European slave. Look at that. As cheap as $8. But people that look like me, they don't want to know the truth. They want to get on camera and cry. They're killing us. They're hurting us. And again, I'm sorry that this happened to this man. I'll, I'll get into exactly what this is. By definition. Nothing, nothing more. All right? But you don't want to know the truth. All the books that's been written with them in control say you're the African. But all the records don't say that. All the melanated people were brought into the 13 colonies. All the Caucasian slaves, excuse me, white slaves, white and Caucasian are two different things. All the white slaves were brought through what? The colonies. All the Caucasians were brought through Ellis Island. All the Orientals were brought California. Angel Island. See? All we got to do is read. People do not want to read today. They want to watch people do other stuff.
They want to live life through other people. I, I don't blame you. It's, it's not a bad life. Here we have modern white people, yesterday's slaves. And you just go through. And I'm not being bigoted. If they sit there and tell you that the black is a slave, they're being, they're just being paid liars. See, all these authors, they all show you where their sources come from. Okay. And let's go into Milton. All right. And now, this is, again, it's Gills Milton, right? Gills Milton, writer, journalist, who specializes in the history of travel and exploration. In the course of his research, he has traveled extensively through Europe, North Africa, the Middle East, and the Americas. His other books are The Riddle and the Night, and the best-selling works Nathan's Nut Nutmeg and Big Chief Elizabeth, that's Queen Elizabeth, and Samurai William. He has been translated into 16 languages worldwide. The whole world knows that melanated people enslaved white people all throughout history. Everybody, if you live in any kind of a project, then you got Moors all over your projects trying to recruit poor people to be the army of the Moors. When they go and they recruit from the projects, the people that there are not them, they always go with the great war stories. We used to have white bitches as slaves for thousands of years. Some of us still do today. That's true. And we can find it online. If they tell you that and you can come to this computer and you can find it, that's one of the few things that they say that's actually true. So, <clears throat> let's say when they say human trafficking, what do you think they're talking about? Oh, don't be silly. You see it right there, right? Slavery. Right? Chattel slavery of Europeans, Europeans by non-European. Let's nip that in the bud. Here's the Black Holy Roman Empire. All right? When I type in Black Kings, now look how they just list every in co country and nation that's of an, any importance. Black Kings of Russia, Black Kings of Spain. You choose. See, you have the power, right? Because you can use the Google robot, right? All you have to do is type in Black Kings and then pick Europe. Do you want to see of England? Same place, right? Mm, kind of, sort of. Europe is many countries, so you'll just see all kinds of kings, right? How about Scotland? Scotland, Ireland, Wales, and uh, England are separate from, from Europe, but even though they're, they've made a union with them, just like the United States has a union of 50 states, right? It's 50, a nation is a state. Scotland is a nation. It's in a union with, let's say, Scotland, Black Kings of Scotland, right? So what do you have? I want Dub, the King of Scotland, right? And then you have what Dub beats today, right? There's Black King James. You can spot him out. More kings, of course, he's he's classified as a Moor, even though he's not a Moor. Right? If Britain's warring with Spain and Spain is the Moors, then the king of Britain ain't no more. And this is the problem with melanated people just stamping anything they want on a shit and not do, uh, completing their research just because 
they want to not be called a slave. All they had to do was just sit there and do the research and they had found out the right way, the correct way. On the other hand, this is the problem with Moors, is they will lie to any extent. Those commandments mean nothing to them. This book that is so important to everybody says it says they're born out of incest. So, if if you don't think that matters, then why does the Most High Creator of of all living say you shall have nothing to do with them? Minneapolis is a Greek city. It's a Greek name. The Greeks are black. If you don't think they're alive today, then you're foolish. They denationed you and claim you're from a continent you've never seen. When your DNA and all your history say you're actually from Europe. And then somebody tell you, and then you sit 15, 20, 30 days done gone by. You don't talk to nobody about this shit. Word spreads from grassroots through the map. It's one person talking, and you sit mute. That's why they sit there and call you African American. You don't say nothing. If I spell a word wrong, I got five people writing me telling me how disgusting I am. You lied when you said that word. I spelled it wrong. People made mistakes. They are outright lying. Purposely telling you, you're from here, you're from there. They're controlling systems such as DNA, and you do nothing. You just sit there. Time to make the donuts. What do you expect? If I push somebody down, and they never tried to get back up, why wouldn't I eat out of their fridge, sleep out of their bed, raise their children, take claim to their wife, drive their car? Why wouldn't I do that stuff? Black people do not have a community. They borrow from other communities that are, what, thriving on top of their lives. They allow one to two black radio stations while the other 20 fucking radio stations are all for caucus people. And you can tell that because of the music that plays. Not because Alex said white and black or anything like that. I don't teach you white and black. You were taught white and black just like I was taught white and black. How black do I look? How black do you look? Hmm? Dirty ass speakers running around. There's clearly black hair on my face that separates from the tone. But yet, I'm being pushed into a category that you're being pushed into. Yeah, we don't match that color. Tan, swarthy, brown, gold. So many colors to choose from. Yet, we're all being called black. You don't think there's a problem with it? So these white authors say that white people, that's what I want. Yeah, let's see what we get when they get that one. They're from Algiers, Tunis, and Sale in Morocco. So, when we say Morocco, we just sit type in people, and this is what they show you. That guy, gold, brown, hmm? this guy, gold, brown, gold, brown, gold, brown, there's one white person. See how odd that is to have somebody that complexion in this area again? 
because they've been uprooted. Other people have came and lived there, here in Morocco, All right? But you just read here that the whites were put on sale in Morocco, All right? Tunis, tuna. Who you eat? Who you know eat nonstop tuna? So some of these people, just a few shades, hmm? not worthy of being captive. Now, isn't it funny? Everybody look like this. Muslim or something like that. Everybody look like this. Talk Christianity. But her DNA says she's from the same place. Tunisians, right? See, this is Septimius, the Roman, right? So all these Roman-looking dudes, so all these Roman-looking dudes, they had offices. In, in North Africa. And what were they doing? That's management. What were they management? What were they doing? Same thing for centuries. Selling people in the slave markets for the highest bidder. Now, these images of the Black Holy Roman Empire these these black africans they they must have escaped africa went into europe and became so powerful with with just the nature of europe and they just became kings of europe that that must have been what happened that must be what happened right so if i say Knights in armor, right? So you see what you see what I'm saying? You don't see nobody's face. This little picture right here, where the with the dude, that's modern, right? You don't see nobody's face, right? Now look how I say, real. Okay, let's go for real. Real knight in armor, right? You don't see nobody's face, right? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it again. Let's just have a little Google fun. Let's search Google for knight in armor, and we'll say, since they made a movie called Black Knight, and I don't want to mess up the search, I'm going to type in Negro. And we'll see what happens. Let's go to images. All right. So now we just get animated shit. Okay? I say Negro. Now they show me modern stuff with white people. Now that'd be kind of confusing, isn't it? Unless you knew that there is a country in Africa called Niger. Now, notice right over here, it's opposite for me. It say more saints night, right? And you got a picture of Maurice, right? So this again. This must be some, again, the Moors always have their crotch out in, in these shots, right? Because you got to pee, you got to poop in those suits, right? This African with the golden sword. That, that one, sorry. Again, it's opposite form. Right? This must be an African with the golden sword. With the royal bulb on the sword and all the, all the jewel encrusted shit all over that armor, 
Africa. It must be an African. Hmm. Right? And you see what it says? Atlanta Black Star pushing the nonsense. How could Africans be king in Europe when Europeans got their own kings? That's what happens when black people shouldn't see the German king. That's the German flag. And see, it say the same shit. Now, what is the saint? That's God's children, right? The Israelites. Moors, Israelites, kings, and knights. That's what it really say. They just hide in the word. Oh, when the saints come marching. Oh, when, oh, when God's children. In Revelation is said, in the what? And the saints are martyred. Who's martyred in the streets? Well, let me show you. George Floyd. And so what happens when we look up his last name? Man, I lost it already. Surname origin. His unusual name is Welsh. Lloyd, nickname. Distinguishing someone who was gray haired. It's derived from Welsh, Lloyd, meaning gray. The name Floyd represents the English attempt to replicate the, pronounce, uh, the pronunciation of the Welsh. Lloyd. So, again, Mr. George is a British king's name, right? Oh, let's just type in George. See, all these melanated people seem to be, for them to have been oppressed by George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Andrew Jackson, it sure seems weird how they all got names like Jefferson and Jackson and Washington, doesn't it? George, surname Irish, English, Welsh, Welsh, South Indian Christian, that means here, United States. South Indian Christian, yeah. That, that means the West, the Old West. Cowboys, cowboys and engines. Middle Eastern Christian, usually Lebanese. That means Canaanite. Oh, here's Native American. Ooh. What's the secret that they gave there? Native American origin. What is a George in ge geological terms? Well, we call it a gorge. It's, it's a sharp cut in the land. It makes a valley. Like someone scooped something out. Like someone scooped something out. Like they gorged it. George. Right? Old German. George. Right? Who? Why would they tell you that's the original? <laughs> so understand where all this stuff comes from this is not the slave dying this is the slave master being choked out by the slaves again they preach it a different way so this is all from the barbary slaves the barbary Slave trade refers to the slave markets on the Barbary coast of North Africa, which included the Ottoman province, provinces of Algeria, Tunisia, and Tripolinia, or Tripoli. And the independent Sultan of Morocco, Sultanate. More Moroccan. Look, most people already know that this is color people. Whether it's your Arab of Iran looking or your dark skin Arab. There's nothing in North Africa but water that's salty with fish 
than a bunch of sand. Now, who goes to the beach every year and builds sand castles? Do I need to show you the pyramids of Africa that are all over North Africa that are just sand castles? The more I beat on this road, the more it just sounds like racism. Please, people, wake up and learn to read. Learn to encourage yourself to drive your will to, to read. So, <clears throat> when you get into the Barbary Wars, it was, one, one of these things just makes it very simple. It's a black and a white war. It's a pirate war versus uh, an uppity black race. <laughs> and when you look here, you see the redhead dude in all white, and you see the melanated guy with all wearing all blue. Blue is the color of the navy. The British had a navy. The pirates were just pirates. Pirating. Arr! Where be the booty? Right? And now, when you listen to the British people today, who really would talk like this if they created English? I say again, if you were the one that created something so mm, absurdly popular as English, would you be talking like this? Or is that really the sign showing that these people are the descendants of pirates, mate? What do the Australians call each other? Might. What the British people call it. I might. Excuse me, not the English people did. So, they're, they're pirates. What are their biggest laws? No pirating. Piracy. Now, this is what they want you to believe. Right? Arab master and African slave. Okay. So, we're just going to try that. Let's say. Let's just say Arab master. What's he got in the background? Look at what they did. They beat his feet. Just like the picture on the book. Woo! I got to sprint around the house. You can't, hey, 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 I can't believe that. believe that I just oh, have mercy oh I just oh, I just don't know what to do when I'm sitting here reading all these books they show me the truth oh and then I see somebody put their feet on the screen like oh 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 my toes man my toes so, <clears throat> why they're doing it to a guy that's already here, I don't know. Don't even care. I just, I just find it funny. Arab master boy slave, right? And he beats his feet. Where did he learn to beat somebody's feet? <laughs> we learned it from the black. Hmm? So, if I sit here and I type in, Arab master, right? Now, they want to say African. Let's try something different, right? Let's outsmart these pieces of shit, right? It said that they were taken from places. Let's write those places in. Who 
who's the master and who's the slave dressed up as an apprentice? Hmm? Now this, this is different. This is a man that was snatched by white people in the 1900s and brought to America. And he could only speak Arab, but he, he was more intelligent than the people that took him. You do see all these Arabs, right? Ain't no white people in there. Right? Here, they want to show you this, right? Okay, well, let's just go out and just say, let's say black slaves. Right? That's an American picture. East Africa's forgotten slave trade, and they show you black. East Africa. Ha! Right? Well, here, here you got one. It's drawn. Now, look. All these photographs, right? And this east. Drawn. Why ain't they take no pictures? This ain't that long ago, people. Whoops. So you see, it gets all up when you type. Oh, I, I, I gotta just close it off. Every, everybody's naked. I. Can. So you saw, you saw people tied up, tortured, raped. When you change the title, all right? They say Arabs selling black people. Everybody standing there like they've been Blair Witch. Okay, stand there. Okay, tell me when you're done so I can take this shit off. Right? You change the title to white people, everybody is in some kind of grotesque position. All of a sudden, everybody's naked and you can't present it. Who? Hey, dear viewer, I ask you, who's the, who's the real slave? Hey, look. I got the same education as you. Oh, it was being dragged 400 years from one continent to another. That's not our history. When we get to the root of these names, melanated people today have the same name as kings in Europe. Problem is, when you go to a portrait, it's painted white. When you go to a statue, it is Negro. So it becomes which one's the fake? Are they trying to fake you out with an expensive stone statue of Negroes that people pay good money to go to the libraries and see? Or are they trying to fake you out with fucking portraits of white people pretending to be kings? I've never had a video where I had to shut down the screen. Everybody knows I don't edit. Whatever was on screen was on screen. I'm not trying to, you know. So, now I, I, I'm a little discouraged because now we're 40 minutes in and, you know, I don't edit. So, you know, I don't want the video shut down. If you see it, you see it. If you don't, you don't. If they take it down, they take it down. If they don't give a shit, they don't give a shit. Now we're going to talk about uh, some of these reasons this has happened. All right, so let's go through this real quick. Uh, there's Floyd Sorting, that's where I did it. All right, so you type in cops murder George, and uh, you're going to see a neat picture. Uh, there was multiple recordings that day. Isaiah Thomas comes out and says, I'm scared for myself, I'm scared for my kids. Right? Here's the other angle. These are the people recording on one side. Here's how many police officers had that man down. Okay. This is an image of the man, George Floyd. 
Okay. Martial arts pressure to the chordal artery leads to death. It's actually called the touch of death. We've heard this thing so many times. Did, did you know when that guy was sitting on his neck, that's actually called the touch of death? Because it blocks the artery. See, if you do a hard punch, your artery is a straw. And if you have buildup on the inside of that straw, it's going to do one of two things. If you smash the artery, again, if you have milkshake in a straw and you smash the straw, what's, what's the, it, it shoots the milkshake both ways, right? Some milkshake goes down in the milkshake, some milkshake comes up out of the straw. If your blood circulation has to go a certain way, certain amount of time, uh, right? Then what does that initial impact do? And what does the lasting pressure against that do? It cuts off the circulation and it clogs that artery from the outside. And what it's called on here, it's called the internal artery. That that that's actually uh the internal is is more the problem in this situation because all the muscle is compacted on the internal see the external isn't right it's it's in the front so again what he's trying to do i presume is not complete the hold it's no different than a guillotine a guillotine is one behind the neck one in front of the neck and you have that pocket and what you want to do is you want to lock your arms in there because once you get that wrench locked, there's no breaking it, right? And that's what he did. And what he did was he used the concrete as the front bar. And it doesn't matter. It's just like choking someone one-sided. The blood cannot complete the cycle. And this is a... Of course, everybody saw that it resulted in death. So... Again, chasing the internal and external uh, 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 cardiac valves, you see it right here. Use one of these simple ones. And again, the pressure is applied from the back. All the muscle tissue goes and presses where? on these arteries states that uh, there it is clinically that the bifurcation occurs and somewhere in here it said something about the stomach and this is and this had reminded me of when the man called out, um, my, 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 I can't feel, I can't remember how he said it, if you say can't feel or, uh, can't quite remember what he said, if he couldn't feel, or if it, or if he said it was numb. That's your artery. All right. I knew it as soon as I try to finish this, it's gonna, I'm gonna see it, and then, it, yeah, I'm gonna wanna do the whole thing over again. Uh, we'll keep moving. Anyway, it's a cardiac restraint, and this is what is going to end again with these veins going up into the jaw the veins going up into the to the uh, top of the skull the arteries as well it's it's, it's it, it causes a clog it's called vascular hold now if you uh air choke hold causes excruciating pain and air hunger 
and in combat sports a fighter will usually submit this is what he kept saying i submit i submit he said no we tried that for 10 minutes so again uh, four reasons every cop should be trained in lateral vascular these are well trained people so the idea that they take oaths to protect life and this is the outcome uh, of course martial arts can you die from a vascular hold everybody knows you can die from a vascular hold this is the exact reason Eric Gardner died So what are they doing? In the training, they're teaching people what? Don't be caught making the hold. So, again, the man weighs what? 200 pounds at least with gear on, and he applies all his weight. People can see him balancing himself against the car. It's called a face wash. It's a maneuver aiming to hurt or humiliate the opponent usually having them sitting up or leaning the back of the head against the bottom corner and you rub your boot in their face. This is the opposite where the person is turned face down and the knee is put to the... It's no different than he stood up over him and pushed his head or neck into the... to the ground. It's one of these sites. Ah... Uh, that went over everything, but they blocked. Uh, claimed I had something up. I'm trying to see it. It'll be purple if I had it up. But uh, when I was going over the move move list, the illegal moves came up. So that was a while. while up. And that's when I found face washing. Um, foot on opponent, face down to pin. Uh, I don't get exactly what I want, but uh, sit out pin. The wrestler sits down on the legs of the opponent and hooks them over the shoulders. All right, that's uh, but we're we're not quite gonna find any actual move because you know what's what's considered being done isn't really a legal move. It's it's actually illegal. Now, everybody, I don't think that one's it. It might be it. Everybody knows if you sit on someone's chest, yeah, this is it. Here we have it. In Greco-Roman, it was prohibited to grasp below the hips, right? Uh, I want to bring this up because uh, I don't think this is the site. And it's okay. Still, anything that pushes the Greco Roman thing because it's going to get to a point. Sitting on the neck to kill someone. All right, everybody knows that the rib cage fluctuates, the bags. Your lungs are just two bags. Just like you grab a bag, you blow in air into it, you pop it you can pop your lungs as well. Your lungs are just two bags. If you block the lungs from opening, that's going to cause suffocation. This is the same thing when you do when you take your hand and put it over someone's mouth and their nose. You're blocking the... See, we're sitting there, oh, the airflow can't is the same thing. If the chest can't expand, you can't inhale. Where does the air go through? It goes through the neck. We can watch that video, all 10 minutes of it, and each time that man puts both knees, and he leans forward to balance himself, he loses his balance, he grabs the car to balance himself. That means all of his weight is being applied on that neck. And it's a slow death. Now, those police know if that stream came from that man. Because they know, because they're all well-experienced police officers in a Greek city where they cut people down all the time. 
They knew if he pissed and shit on himself from what they did to him. Now, I'm going to show you what they did. I'm going to make five points. All right, so when you type in Greek human sacrifice, I should type Greek or Roman, all right? But it's going to come in from human sacrifice. And you want to deal with suffocation because that's what actually happened. And it's under human sacrifice. The Sabines use suffocation under the weight of gifts. If you sit there and say we're dealing with slavery and anti-slavery, all right, it's going to make sense in the realm of gift. The gift means to give something, okay? So, I don't care how you want to cut up the sentence, like, you know, I, I already know how the sentence, we, we, we're staring at the end results. The end results. You're telling me that grown man didn't know if he alone sat on that man's neck that that man wasn't going to die? I'm going to call it bullshit. I'm going to say, let's go to where his wife and his children live, and, right? and I'm, I'm going to say, Sir, instruct your child to sit on your other child like that. And he'll be like, hell no. I don't know, because it, it will hurt him. So you sat on another man's neck with the intentions of knowing that would hurt him. And so you fucking hurt him. That goes directly against. See, they, they fired him. They were supposed to prosecute him because that goes directly against the oath that he took. I'm going to protect and serve. Protect and serve what? What property was damaged? Ain't no property damage. Why you kill him? serve, sacrifice. See, we don't understand these things because of what they tell us as wonderful bedtime stories. We're all one, peace and happiness, yet people fucking die every day at the hands of other men. So we got one more. What we got up here? Oh, you know, cops murdered George and, of course, what comes up? All right, so let's, let's take out five points. All right. Five points for Floyd. Shutdown. The country has been in shutdown since March 17th. March 16th was the last moon signal before the new year, which means March 17th was the Sabbath before New Year. And that means that everybody's been locked up since the actual New Year. Not since what you call fiscal New Year. You're going you're forced to by a treaty, you're forced to use the Greco Roman count, which which means that in the dead season, when the trees don't have no leaves, you are to call it new. That means when spring comes out and things start to grow, that's actually the new year. April Fools. Because you don't want to read or pay attention to the signs right in front of your face. In the wintertime, everything's dead. Babies don't come out dead. They come out fresh and vibrant. And new, everything new is in spring. These people have lied to you about everything. Shutdown has been since March 17th. National parks have been closed since March 17th. Let me not just say that. Let me show you. Uh, I'll just have to just type it in. All right. Let's see. Update 17th March National Parks closed. All right. March 17th. All right. NPS moves towards partial shutdown. 
March 17th, National Parks announced its plan to modify the operations since everything is closed. Parks closed the 17th, right? 17th date, and this was when they closed because of the virus. They closed the week before the New Year. When does the New Year begin? The New Year begins on the equinox. When was the equinox? When the day was equal to the night. Don't listen to their vernal equinox or their longitudinal equinox. You need equal day, equal night. Something that everybody can tell. All right? And guess what? That was at after March 17th. Remember, we counted from the equinox to the Passover, like the Bible says. It, just, it says that day. They don't say equinox in the Bible. They, you're to know equal day and equal night. I learned from GOCC. That's, that's, I got lucky. I fell into a group at the right time. Point number two. On camera, the witness defined the martial arts move he was using, and he defined the medical implications of using that technique on someone, period, and for that amount of time. So... No, no, no. On film, he sat there and said, I'm part of, this is saying, the lawyer would hear this shit and say, fire these motherfuckers right now because tomorrow I have to press charges against him because the guy sat there and said, on camera, he trains at a hall where they claim they, te they teach part, uh, part of this technique, which means anybody defending this family could bring that whole class in. All they have to do is say, oh, I know that cop right there. That's Doug. I showed Doug that at the bar. I showed Doug that at a cookout. Doug told me that they started training that. And then what? Then the whole system goes on trial. Since the Air Garter case, you've been teaching people to not use the four bar, to just use their weight as... And that's what will happen. The third thing again. Uh, number three, the face wash. It is a throttle move, all right, to hold someone's face against something and to what? Move it around. Or to move yourself around to push the pressure in different places because the goal is to stop circulation. I can't make my wrist do that. Eventually, they tie up and all that. Okay. The fourth point. The second officer that everybody visually seen, everybody didn't see all three officers putting their weight on the man. They're putting their weight on his legs. They're putting their weight on, you want to know the most danger? You got a knife? You want to kill somebody? You cut him right here. You'll never fucking heal from that. As soon as you cut that vein, it pulls away and it will never be repaired. You got to go inside of it, have fingers like an angel, and slowly corral that artery back together, and then somehow get it to stay, all while the blood is gushing out. How fast does blood travel? That is why they put all that pressure on the back of his thigh as well. The goal was to stop circulation, and I can prove it. And if it ever came to it, I would testify to it. To it. Because I saw the same video, and there was one point that I made right off the bat. And that's my fifth point, right? The fourth point, the other officer, he just stood guard. See, your ass is on the line because you took an oath. See, we didn't have gotten to these hopping careers, right? Hopping jobs that should have been careers to that we don't care what we sign anymore. Now, the fifth point, when the paramedics came, that was the most amazing CPR I've ever seen performed. 
they they perform CPR for so long. I just had to say, dude, he's gone. Y'all y'all got to stop. They perform CPR so long. I was back here fucking caught. Time, man, he's gone. Time, he's gone. Time, he's gone. No, they didn't perform any CPR. When have you ever seen the ambulance come and not perform CPR? Oh, when they got sued. Every time the ambulance gets sued because they didn't perform CPR. Remember all the cop TV shows in the past when 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 the suspect would always get kicked because you didn't read him his Miranda rights. That is exactly the same thing that they tell every ambulance driver, right? Look, guys, keep the hospital's name clean and make sure you perform CPR at every stop. So, in reality, what happened was, they just came with a, a shovel and scooped Mr. Floyd off the street. If you watch that video, I would, I would seriously, I would take a timer, and I would time the amount of time the paramedics are, are in frame. Is it procedure to just flip the person over? Put them on a cart and wheel them away. That doesn't sound like a life-saving technique. That that sounds like a cleanup crew. So that makes me wonder how the communication went down between the guys that actually killed him and the guys that came to clean up the killing. Because a lot of that shit, it just doesn't seem right. No. If anything about what happened to this man bothers you, then you ain't been watching TV. If what happened to Mr. Floyd does not bother you at all, then you have been brain trained. Because this is what we saw in the video, This Is America, right? You saw the riots. You saw the, the little children sitting there recording what was happening, but not doing anything. And that's the same thing that happened to Mr. Floyd. Mr. Floyd was placed on the ground. His veins were pinpointed and weights, human weights, were placed on his veins. He stopped functioning and then they call the a cleanup crew if if that's not what 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 i saw on the video I, I i must have watched the wrong video if you watched the same video and you saw something different than what i'm talking about you know just just please let me know you know other than that i'd hate to say this there's only two ways to survive this because this ain't going to stop. There's only two ways to survive. Right? One. When they tell you to put your hands up, shut up, get in the car. When they show your paperwork, when they not see you, you better listen. And you better listen like they're representing their God. Of death or they will introduce you to their God and on the other hand your creator has his hand out extended to you all you have to do is worship him it's not hard it's not disgusting your children, house full of idols. Name the toy and your child has it.
I have children. We're about to head down the same road, and I'm not doing it. I've got Thomas to train shit, and I feel bad. So fucking bad it hit me last night. We are a society of idolaters. They flash something on the screen and give me, I, I gotta get six. I got, I got, I got five family members and I, I need an extra one. Bobbleheads. Anything you can stamp two eyes, a smile, and put a name on it. They took a regular train set and put a face on it and called it Thomas. And how many children love Thomas more than they do God or any God? A wicked man that worships all these evil things. Is not your child an idolater too? They don't make toys of the devil. It's not like you could say, no, child, don't worship that. Worship the devil. Think about it, dumbass. You're in the same place. Evil, evil person. You're in the same place. Your master will show his face. And your children won't serve you, master. Why? <laughs> He's not on the toy shelves. Not on the toy shelves. So go back to the real God. While you have a chance, you can look outside. You can see the calamity growing. That will lead to people versus people, nation versus nation. Once enough people are extinguished and there's nobody here to contest for the domination of Earth, then the fallen are released. If you think I'm just being psycho right now, then read the book! Hopefully, I'll see you on that day when we're all fighting these things. Shalom. And to the Floyd family. I'm sorry. But something has to start the fire in the hearts of the saints. All right, uh, you know what? One more thing before we go. Now, this one's going to get touchy. We will go into this in another subject, but it's called Yearly Sacrifice to the Creatures of the Forest. All right? Now, if you get into this subject, you just Google it, get into the subject. There's plenty of books that tell you all about it, and they're all, for the most part, most of this is Greek stuff. Okay? Um... So, just keep this in mind, and uh, be safe out there. Good luck. Shalom.